we don't ever want to burn bridges in, in any profession, to be honest. What goes around comes around. And how we do anything is how we do everything. So I want to know that when my head hits the pillow at the end of the day, have I done good? Did I show up? Um, was I respectful? And did I do my best? And burning bridges is when we take things personally. It's when we make it about us. It's when we have a short-term reactive um, response. And it shows up. People notice. People see. Uh, it magnifies on its own. And often it can really become like a rumor. It can become its own animal. I've seen some really good leaders um, create conflict in, in moments of not being resourceful. And the ramifications of that can really stick around for a long time. So I, I encourage um, certainly our leaders and anyone listening, because I do this for myself, take pause, ask a better question. Think about, well, what's my outcome here? What's really my outcome? Can I influence this? Can I really change this? Am I focused on my business, other people's business, or God's business? And usually my answer will be, I'm trying to influence or control someone else's business. And when I can make that distinction, I can get out of my mind, I can take a step back and think about, oh gosh, I'm taking this personally right now. I'm believing my thought that I'm losing something here, that there's a loss. And it's really, it's almost never the case. So we, in leadership, we want to take pause. We want to create a better meaning for ourselves and give yourself time to get out of reaction and fear and get back to the business of a long-term vision. And I can honestly say some of my greatest mentors really showed me what it was like to be a servant leader in this way, that right from the get-go, I was not any kind of financial benefit for them to help me, but they helped me. And for me early on, when, when I wasn't really creating a, a, a lot in this business or income, I was so um, pleasantly surprised and still to this day so grateful for some of my early mentors that had no financial interest to help me because I didn't even know that existed. And that is what I really believe is one of the most precious um, gifts of this profession that makes us so very unique in that people are here to serve. People are here to be mission driven. The many gifts that this profession has given them they want to selflessly give back to others. So that's the flip side, the benefit of what goes around comes around. Burning bridges will mean we drop below the line. That's where there'll be poaching. That's where people won't do the right thing. They won't be, um, you know, when it comes to you or a relationship, they won't want to be ethical. When they see an opportunity uh, to maybe influence someone to come over to them, um, it, it just can get really messy. So I encourage you to think about what kind of leader do you want to be? To me, this is an identity question. So we don't ever want to burn bridges because I'm always thinking about how do I want people to feel? How do I want them um, to think about me? How do I want to be seen and how do I want them to feel about our relationship? And I feel like some of the best, most influential leaders in the world are those who have an open heart and an open mind and that you know are very balanced and very fair, not reactive. 